You know what's interesting? All these bag of contracts. Javi Baez just got what? Six for 140. 23 AAV. And Simeon and Seeger. Everyone's getting these big contracts. Does Giancarlo Stanton, I think the Yankees pay 22 against the AAV now. Like not even a big contract. Yeah, I wonder, <laughs> depending how dry this offseason gets, um, I think it was mentally a conversation that Yankee fans buried for a while. And I still don't think they would. Like, Stanton has been productive for them. Um, but, yeah, like when Mike Trout wants to be traded next year, like there's a little easy money swap there. So, <laughs> Jar from Oz was damning me about, like, maybe they're just going to try and trade Stanton now because his value so high and his cost is like lower compared to other MVP candidate dudes. 15 more DH spots opening up. I know, I know Javi plays shortstop and all that and it, or second bait or whatever, but Stan's cheaper right now. And like people forget Stan is on a hall of fame pace. I, well, I know. Yeah. Yeah. And and now he's like, I don't know. He's getting paid more, but the Yankees are only paying because the Marlins, whatever he's owed every year, the Marlins take like a bunch off the top. So it's only a 22 hit against the luxury tax for the Yankees every year, 22 mil. So that's what the Yankees pay him. I think he's, I think he's owed like 30 or more, but the Yankees only pay him 22. It's kind of funny that as... I think at least by luxury tax, even before this free agency with more people signing, I think he was like not even a top 20 luxury tax hit in baseball, which the way people talk about him, you wouldn't, you'd think he was number two. You know, what's getting real odd to me, Jake is the, and, and this is another looking at fan graphs, the amount of people the Yankees have locked up past 2023. It's, it's not a lot at all. We're really coming to the end of some of this, which is interesting. 